Amana from Craft Me a Card. Today I'm participating in a hop to raise awareness for autoimmune diseases. There are many wonderful participants taking part in this hop. Please make sure you visit their channels, leave comments for chances to win awesome prizes. Tara from Mayhem Crafty Cards is the host for this challenge and she was able to receive some wonderful prizes that she will be raffling. So the more you participate, the more chances you have of winning. Make sure you visit everyone's channels and leave comments. Each one will be a chance to win. This is also going to be taking place on Instagram, so make sure you visit us on that platform as well. Oh yes, you must be subscribed to her channel in order to win. Did you know there are over a hundred autoimmune diseases and that they attack women more than men? And each one of these diseases has a distinct color that represents them. Our challenge today was to create a card using one of these colors. But I couldn't decide on one. I believe that each one of these illnesses is important, so I decided to do a card with many different colors. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Very well, so let's get started. This is a piece here that inspired me for today's card, and I made this piece a while ago as I was experimenting with the smushing technique with some oxide inks. I came across it and I just love the colors. Okay, so I know I want to use this metal fairy dye that I've had in my stash for a while now, and I want to give these wings the same background well, the same colors, the same feel as the inspiration piece that I have. So I go ahead and I grab a piece of cardstock. And using the same smushing technique, I grab picked raspberry first. I smush it onto my mat, add a little bit of water, and this is just to help the colors move a little bit more. I smush my cardstock onto it. To accelerate the drying time, I go ahead and I apply some heat to it. First I do picked raspberry, then fossilized amber, and then last but not least, cracked pistachio. Now I applied cracked pistachio last only because I only want a little bit of that green. I didn't want it to overtake the whole piece. And there you go. Perfect match with our inspiration piece. And this is going to be used again for my fairy wings. Next I start working on the background. I know I want to use alcohol inks only because Alcohol inks give it a magical flowy feel to actually any project. For the pink, I grab pink sherbet, and for the yellow, I grab sunshine yellow. I take a piece of cardstock, and this was taken from a board from the Dollar Tree, and I add some 91% alcohol to it. I add some drops of the pink, which is the flamingo. With the blowing tool, I help the color move around, and I just play with it up and down, up and down, until I'm satisfied with the look it achieves. Next, I go in with the yellow, again adding some 91% alcohol and adding some drops of the yellow. I do the same process. The blowing tool is not required. You've seen me uh, do it with the straw. Actually, when I first started, I started with the straw. But I feel that the blowing tool just makes it easier for me. I mean, I, I think it's less work <laughs> than blowing through a straw. So yeah, I just move and I play around with these colors until I have it where I want it. I add more alcohol and just help that color move around more because I really want it to be flowy fairy worthy. So once I have it where I want it, I just set it aside and I allow it to dry. Once it is completely dry, I go ahead and I trim it down to be about one inch smaller than my base piece. And I also cut a mat, a white mat. That's where it's going to be sitting on. Before I go ahead and I stick these two together, I'm going to take this white mat and I'm going to cut my fairy out of it, taking advantage of the inside that will not be seen. And voila, here it is. She looks so cute, and I really like this cardstock. It's from Joann's, and it has a pearly shine to it. And I think the Joann's brand is Coordinations. Okay, so now I can take my alcohol inked panel and stick it on top of the white mat. I decided to use some mixed media glue only because this coordination cardstock has like a shiny coat on top of it. So I believe that this type of glue will adhere a lot better than regular liquid glue. Okay, so now taking the fairy piece, I add some liquid glue to the wings 
and I stick it on top of that first little piece that we did. And let's give these wings some color. Taking a crafter's knife, I just go ahead and I cut around just the wing portion of the die. And here she is. Doesn't she look wonderful? I like to make sure that my foam tape stays in place, <laughs> so I add some liquid glue. And then I go ahead and I place the foam tape on the parts that will not be seen of the die. And this is for this fairy to be nicely popped up, have some dimension. And I add some liquid glue on top of the foam to create a glue sandwich for this foam adhesive. I go ahead and I place it carefully on top of the alcohol inked background. I love, love, love the colors. I love the feel. Okay, let's keep working this card. Adding some more liquid adhesive, I go ahead and I take this layer and I place it on top of our inspirational layer, which is the card base. I go and I search in my stash of strings and twines and I find this green one, which I think is perfect for this fairy card. I go ahead and I weave it in and out of the handle of the mason jar. And using some mixed media glue, I go ahead and I make sure that it stays in place. Taking advantage of these little pieces that were left over from the wings, I grab this metal die that has a bunch of little tiny flowers on it. And I go ahead and I cut them out out of these leftover pieces. And don't be afraid of creating more paper if you run out, if, it's, if the leftover pieces are not enough, which was my case. So I went ahead and I die cut a bunch of these flowers, different sizes. I used two different kinds of dies. If you don't have dies for flowers, there's also hole punches you can use. You can also use your Cricut if you have that. And of course, you can also cut it by hand. So once you have all your little flowers cut out and ready to go, bring in your card base with the fairy image. Applying some liquid glue, go ahead and strategically place each one of these little flowers, mixing the colors, mixing the sizes, just everywhere. As I was working on the card, I noticed that I needed something and I needed to ground this mason jar. So grabbing some woody pencils, this is by Stabilo. I go ahead and I mix black and this cream color with a little bit of water to kind of make a light uh, color to put underneath the mason jar. These uh, pencils are good for mixed media when you're working with mixed media. Um, you can also use something like acrylic paint or maybe uh, alcohol markers, uh, colored pencils, whatever you have on hand. Okay, so now my brain was telling me, go ahead, now you can work on this card and put the, uh, the flowers on. And that's exactly what I did. And as you're doing this, have fun with it, enjoy it. I mean, it's a bunch of little pieces, but for me, it is something relaxing and that I enjoy quite a bit. Um, it's my creative side to just mix and match, you know, the sizes and the colors and make everything balance. So as you're doing this, enjoy it. I feel sometimes it's like cooking. Um, if you enjoy it and you put your flavor into it, beautiful pieces turn out and people appreciate it and enjoy it as well. And yes, of course, as they enjoy it and you see their faces of satisfaction, of yum, when somebody takes your card and looks at it with a face of wow, we enjoy that as well. I think that's why we enjoy creating so much. And here's a tip for you when you are creating with little tiny flowers like this. The Nuvo drops really help. Um, this is a bottle that I had sitting for a while and didn't use it and it kind of dried up on me. But it's still liquidy to why I could still push it out of the bottle. So what I do is I apply some of this onto the card and this will help lift up these tiny pieces and I don't have to be dealing with cutting up foam tape. And uh, Nubo Drops, as they dry, they dry dimensional. So this will have the flowers look dimensional as well. Okay, so once you've placed all the little flowers everywhere where you would like them, I added some corners using the same kind of smushed paper. One two, three, four. Alrighty, tag time! <laughs> Taking this tiny stamp, I go ahead and I stamp best wishes using brown memento ink. You can also hand write this and taking this hole punch that has three different sizes of tags, I go ahead and I punch out the tiniest one of all. Oh, so satisfying! 
<laughs> and just grabbing a little bit of vintage photo distress ink I go ahead and with this applicator I go around the edges just to age it a little grabbing a paper piercer I make a little hole in the tag and using the same type of string that I use for the mason jar I run it through the tag and make a little knot I add plenty glue and I go ahead and I place it right on top of where the flowers are at an angle so at this stage, I think the card is complete. I love it, but you know me, you know me. I need to add more. So all I do is add little gems in the middle of the largest little flowers. And then I go ahead and I add some iridescent sequins all over. And I rediscovered these glass spheres. Now they're not heavy, they're used for nail art. And um, I think they're very magical. They're like glass balls um, they don't weigh much so I think they're perfect for card making when you want to give something an extra touch so using some julep glue by Eileen's I go ahead and I place these all over the card and voila here is our card finished thank you so very much for joining me I hope you enjoyed I hope you get inspired and I hope you create and be happy thank you so much for joining me it is my pleasure to participate in this hop and please don't forget to visit the other channels for more chances to win one of these great prizes and as always if you haven't subscribed I invite you to do so hit the thumbs up the notification bell and like and comment <laughs> thank you so very much we'll see you next time bye bye Oh my goodness. Darn. <laughs> Chewy. Dude.